Hey, this is Robert Oakley with your home source team at Home Start Realty Group. It's July 8th, Monday, and we're doing a quick recap of the market. You know, the first six months of the year has been kind of a roller coaster. Uh, been an interesting year so far. I'm actually going to do the highlights for Boulder uh, on this particular video. Um, I've got several properties out in that area, and just interesting to see how the market's changed from what was happening the first year to what's happening now. The uh, the inventory is continuing to, to increase. Um, so I'll give you an example. In February, we put a property on out by Boulder Reservoir. We put it on for 860000 Needs some updating and needs some work. It was original owners, uh, but it's a prime location where nothing ever sells. We put that home on the market. In February, we did about two weeks of coming soon marketing because the sellers weren't completely ready. So we had to do some wait, do some photography and staging and so forth. So by the time we got on and had been out there for a couple of weeks, people knew it was coming. Our first open house, we only really had one weekend of open houses, two hours on Saturday, two hours on Sunday. It was just swamped. It was crazy. And we ended up selling the house with multiple offers, resubmitted the offers, and ended up getting the final sales price of 960000 So we went up 100000 over asking price. So I was interested to see what was happening in the market in Boulder. So in, in February of this year, there were... 161 active listings the year before there were 118 so there was a lot more homes available and not a lot in this area though so it was a little bit of a unique property um, interesting though to see what was happening with the prices the prices were also up over 100,000 from the previous year so in February of 2018 the median price half the homes above half below were 847,000 in February of this year it was 975,000 so that would make you think, hey, this is a great year. We're after a great start. Where are we going? Well, fast forward into May. We put another property on the same general location, more acreage, um, more finished square footage. And what I'm finding interesting, and we're seeing across the board uh, for everybody who has homes on the markets, the, the number of listings has steadily grown. So in February, there were 161 active listings in all of Boulder. In May, there were 243 active listings, and then even more in June. I haven't got the final numbers yet, but the June numbers are going to be even higher. Um, so that was a 45% increase over the year before. In June, of, or I'm sorry, May of 2018, there were only 167 homes available in Boulder. So here's the scary part, or the good part, depending on which side of the fence you're on. So I can mention in February, the median home price was 975,000. There were 31 homes that were sold. In May, there were 86 homes that were sold, so almost three times as many homes were sold. However, the median price has, has dropped to 940. We had a spike in April of 1,200 or 1,275,000 was the median price. Um, but if you look from the beginning of the year to, to today, that uh, median sales price has dropped, whereas last year it was 971,000. This year it's 940,000 for the month over month prices. And, you know, the trend from the first of the year has actually been going down. So something to definitely watch in the Boulder area for the year. We're basically right on, on track. 254 homes sold year to date through the month of May. Uh, June looks like 254 homes. It hasn't updated yet. Um, last year it was 252 homes. So, you know, that stayed pretty much the same. The monthly average days on market is at 48 days. Uh, that was through May, waiting again to see what June's numbers look like. But, you know, I guess my point of this is I look at what's happening with our listings, the competition. There's not a lot of movement. Um, and so what we're finding is buyers, they're not rushing like they have been the previous years to go out there and jump on the property. Now, this property, we actually had that happen initially. We put on the market, had multiple offers. Um, unfortunately, the property my sellers are selling or were buying uh, wasn't able to go under contract. So we had to pull their home off the market. We couldn't accept those offers. A few weeks later, we got another home under contract. In the meantime, those buyers had moved on. So what I'm sensing and what I think from talking to agents in the area who's, who are seeing this changing market, a lot of people refer to it as a Goldilocks market, not too hot, not too cold, is buyers no longer have that sense of, of pressure that they have to just jump on the first property that comes along. So I wanted to share with you what was happening in Boulder and Hopefully that helps. If you're interested, I'll be doing the surrounding areas that we focus on as well in uh, in other videos. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, thumbs up if you like the video, if it helps you. And please share with your friends, family. You know, Like I say, we'll do market reports on all the areas that we focus on. Uh, we'll
world is just being happened to be living in that world. Thanks for watching.